Hi guys. Back again with film recap. In this video, I will recap one of an anti-mainstream film from 2018, titled Mom and Dad. Before that, don't forget to like and subscribe for more film recaps. When the film begins, we are shown the broadcast of TV static noise. At that moment, the scene moved to a mother who was playing a song from the radio in her car. Surprisingly, the woman left the car and her child without hesitation. She deliberately stopped her car in the middle of the railway and left her son died. The next scene we are shown a girl, Carly who is calling her boyfriend, Damon. Not long after, Carly's younger brother, Josh, came into the room and made fun of her. In this film we will focus on the family of Carly and Josh, which consists of their father, Brent, and their mother, Kendall. The city they live in is a safe and comfortable city, where in every corner, parents always accompany their children. At Carly's house, her family always starts the morning with breakfast and gets together. They also have a maid, Sun Yi and the maid's daughter, Lisa. While enjoying breakfast, Carly's mother and father watched a news broadcast about a car that had been hit by a train. Not bothered by the news, Carly instead asked for permission to bring her boyfriend home tonight. But her parents didn't agree and said that her grandparents would also come tonight. On the other hand, Carly was also not given permission to date because she's still 17 years old. Then, she was driven by her mother to go to school. Along the way all Carly did was just busy with her cell phone and her mother was ignored. Her mother felt that Carly had never appreciated her presence, and had always been ingoring her own mother. From here we can see that Carly's relationship with her mother is not really good. Her mother also told Carly that after this she would visit the hospital, to accompany her mother's sister who was about to give birth. However, Carly did not care at all where her mother was going. Then, Josh who was still not in school, spent every day at home. In this film, it is clear that Josh is a stubborn and hyperactive child. Because of his stubbornness, his own father's head was hit with a ball until it buzzed. Even so, his dad was patient and still willing to joke with Josh. After that, his father was ready to go to work as usual. The scene moves to the classroom and shows a girl, Riley. Riley is a bad girl and she is Carly's classmate. Scene then went back to Carly's house. In a house there are only Josh, Sun Yi and Sun Yi's child, Lisa. Josh who is naughty can only play planes while running around. When his toy plane crashed, Josh was immediately shocked when he looked into the kitchen. At the same time, Carly's mother was hanging out with Riley's mother. Riley's mother also said that Riley had told her about Carly, who secretly taking Kendall's money without her permission. Hearing this, Kendall felt embarrassed, but she still defended Carly as her daughter. But Riley's mother keep heats up Kendall to make her angry. While the two mothers continued to gossip, their daughters were studying together in the same class. The moment the teacher in their class was busy teaching them, suddenly the phone in the class rang. Then, one of the students in the class was called by his parents to get out of the classroom. Not long after, the phone rang again. From outside of the classroom, there were also many police cars heading to their school. From that call, one of the students was also told to leave the classroom. Didn't know what happened, the teacher didn't know what was going on either. On the other hand, Damon who was taking his exams on campus, also saw a lot of parents waiting at the door. Even though the time for the exam was not over, and there was still an hour left. To be honest, I can't imagine if an incident like this really happened. Carly and Riley, who had finished class, saw that all the students were busy leaving the class. They went home because all of them were called by their parents. Outside the school there was a mother who climbed the fence and was arrested by the police. However, as it turned out, the entire school gate was crowded by a group of parents. At the same time, Damon, who had finished his exam, immediately collected the answer sheets and left the class. The parents who saw Damon leave instead went straight into the class together. The situation at school is also getting out of control and very strange. Despite the fact that there was no earthquake or tsunami, but all parents seemed to be panicking themselves calling their own children. In order not to be more chaotic, several police officers were guarding the school gate. Then there was one mother who called her son. Innocently, the child instead ran to his mother and climbed over the fence. The teacher saw the boy running and immediately held him back. Even the teacher and the police who were holding him could not do much, because the boy wanted to get out of the school gate instead. As a result, the boy was stabbed with a car key by his own mother. 
Things got even more chaotic when the parents managed to get into the school. Immediately, all the students ran away, where they were no longer being chased by zombies, but instead they were being chased by their own parents. Some of the children who were chased were immediately killed in various ways. The police at the school are also trying their best to protect the children. Carly and Riley kept running and luckily their parents didn't come to the school. Then, Damon, who has finished his exams, is on the way to return to his house. When he arrived, he immediately went into the house and saw his father sitting on the chair. His house also looks messy and is immediately cleaned by Damon. When he finished taking out the trash, it turned out that his father was no longer in the couch. The TV broadcast that his father watched suddenly turned into static noise broadcast. From behind, his father suddenly slapped Damon for no reason. His father looked like a dazed person, then took the glass bottle right away. The bottle his father had taken was also broken to make it sharper. Damon could only be silent and confused seeing his father's behavior. Then Damon's father attacked his son until his hand was injured. Feeling something strange, Damon immediately tried to avoid his father. Damon's father who was chasing after him instead fell, then made the shard pierce his own neck. Damon's who wanted to help his father still got resisted. On the other hand, Carly's mother, who had been hanging out with Riley's mother, was crying silently in the car. She remembered the behavior of her daughter who always made herself look bad. Even though she had defended her daughter who became the subject of people's talk. Not long after that, Kendall got a call from her sister who was about to give birth. Carly and Riley who had left school also planned to stay at Riley's house. From her lifestyle, Riley is a girl who likes to consume drugs. While waiting for Riley to take the narcotics, Carly watches TV to find out what's going on. The news on TV said that this phenomenon occurred in huge numbers, and it was not yet known what caused it. Riley's mother, on the other hand, was waiting in Riley's room with a photo of the two of them. Carly who was downstairs was confused why Riley had been in her room for such a long time. As she went up, she saw Riley had been killed by his own mother. Long story short, Carly's mother had arrived at the hospital. When she arrived at the hospital, she was curious about what was being reported on TV broadcasts. The most updated news said that this phenomenon probably occurred, because there was a group of people who purposefully made biological weapons or neurotoxins, which can attack the impulses of the human brain. This neurotoxin will make the instincts of parents who always protect their children, love their children and care about their children become the opposite. In other words, the neurotoxin is able to make the natural instincts of parents turn into hatred then want to kill their own children. Then, Carly's mother immediately accompanied her sister who was about to give birth. Here you can really see how a mother struggles during childbirth. After such a long struggle, finally a baby was seen and immediately carried by his mother. But suddenly, the monitor screen in the room turned into static Noah's broadcast. The baby's mother, who had previously been happy, had suddenly become violent for no apparent reason. She deliberately hugged the baby tightly so that the baby couldn't breathe. Seeing this, Carly's mother immediately grabbed the baby from her sister. The doctors who were there also helped Kendall to retrieve the baby. However, the baby's mother took a cutter and tried to stab the baby. In the end, Carly's mother able to took the baby. But still, the baby's mother kept trying to kill her child. The scene back to Carly who saw her friend was dead, decided to run from Riley's house. From a distance, she saw a father who had finished killing his son with a baseball bat. Carly was afraid to see the father, and fortunately from behind there was Damon who appeared suddenly. After that, Damon and Carly plan to save Josh who is still at home. Then, the scene moves to Carly's father who is still in the office, he looks very tired. He also got a call from his wife but instead ignored it. At that moment, the TV in the office turned into static noise broadcast, then Carly's father immediately shouted. Carly's mother, who was still in the hospital, was confused why he didn't even pick up the phone. Soon after, a nurse said that her sister had been drugged and couldn't violently behave anymore. The nurse asked the baby to be returned to the hospital. But Carly's mother kept refusing and wanted to keep the baby. But in the end, she gave the baby to the hospital. What makes this scary in the baby's room is, there are also a parents who continuously staring at their babies. Looked at them not because they were happy, but because they wanted to kill their own child. At that time, Carly's mother immediately called Sun Yi who was at home. She asks is everything fine? 
Well, Sun Yi said that everything is fine. Carly's mother was worried that her husband would reach the house first. Therefore, she would rush home right then and there. Damon and Carly, who were already in front of the house, they only saw Sun Yi's parked car. When they entered, Sun Yi was seen busy mopping the kitchen floor. Sun Yi was confused why Carly came home so early during school hours. Then she also said she would prepare Carly a lunch. However, Carly didn't want to beat around the bush and immediately asked where Josh was. Hearing this, Sun Yi informs that Josh is in his room. Immediately, Carly was surprised when she saw the mop that Sun Yi had squeezed out was covered in blood. Well, it's clear that Sun Yi killed her own child, Lisa, in this kitchen. Carly, who was afraid of Sun Yi, immediately chased her out of the house. At that moment, Carly immediately went upstairs to meet her younger brother, Josh. Josh said that he hid after he saw Lisa killed by Sun Yi. Without further ado, Carly asked her little brother to leave the house together before their mother and father came home. Damon who was downstairs was surprised by the arrival of Carly's father who saw him in the house. Carly's father was outraged and his screams were heard up above. When Carly's father and Damon are having an argument, Josh innocently shows himself in front of his father. His father immediately chased them both, and was immediately stopped by Damon. Then, Damon was hit by Carly's father right away. Right now, all Carly and Josh could do was run from their father's chase. Fortunately, their father slipped because of a toy car, then bounced into the kitchen. Carly and Josh without hesitation immediately hid in the basement and locked the door. Meanwhile, their mother was still on her way home. It was so chaotic that on the side of the road there was a mother who deliberately pushed her child into the middle of the road. But luckily Carly's mother didn't hit the baby's trolley. In short, Carly's mother who had arrived at the house saw her husband lying down, she immediately woke up her husband who had fainted. From here, Carly's mother's behavior was different, and looked like a dazed person. The two parents eventually worked together to kill their child. Her mother tries to persuade Carly and Josh who are in the basement to come out. At a moment like this, Carly apologized to his mother for stealing her mother's money. Her mother said it was okay and she just wanted the two of them out of the room. However, Carly didn't want to, and she told her mother to get out of the house. Hearing that, their father became enraged and used harsh words on them. Then, Carly's mother immediately took the drill and knife. The door was so strong that the drill that his mother took didn't even work. His father also intends to take the gun that he kept under the bed. But apparently the gun was gone. At that moment, there was a scream from Carly's mother. It turned out that his father's gun had been secretly taken by Josh. Carly's mother's arm was also injured from being hit by a shot through the door. His father was confused as to why Josh had the gun. After thinking about it, it turned out that the pin code of the suitcase was Josh's birthday. Well, as I said at the beginning, Josh, who is stubborn actually helping too in this film. While the wound on her mother's arm was being treated, Carly and Josh could only wait in the basement. Their parents had a new and more effective plan. They tried to make it hard for the two children to breathe, by channeling gas into the basement. While his mother was pulling the gas hose, there was a nasty smell coming from the trash can. After a closer look, it turns out that the things inside of the trash can are Lisa's rotting body. Innocently, she put the hose into the basement air vent. After that, Carly's father turned the gas faucet on. Every hole in the door was also blocked by his own mother. Carly, who was inside, was confused about what her parents were really planning. Carly, who was curious, reached out and felt the hole in the door. Her mother saw Carly's finger and immediately stabbed the hole with a knife. Her parents just waited at the door to hear their children's screams. They essentially want their two children to die slowly. Time after time they waited until nightfall. And Josh, who couldn't stand the gas, immediately looked breathless and had a pale face. Likewise with Carly whose face began to turn pale and it was difficult to breathe. Then, Carly found a vent that they could use to escape from the room. Before escaping, she made a trap with the matches she found in the room. Carly's purpose in making the trap was so that when her parents opened the door, the match would immediately rub against and explode since there was gas in the room. When they were done, they immediately ran into the vent and coughed as loudly as they could. Hearing the coughing sound, their father ready to enter the room and their mother immediately grabbed a hammer and knife. 
Carly and Josh were already above the ceiling at that moment. When the doorknob that had been broken opened, Carly's father immediately opened the door and the match trap was scraped. Immediately, a burst of fire shot out of the basement and hit Carly's father. Then, the mother woke up from unconsciousness and immediately looked for her two children. Carly, who had just come down from the ceiling, made a sound until her mother could hurt it. From downstairs, her mother walked over and saw Carly in the attic. At that moment her mother immediately chased Carly like a criminal in the house. Carly could only lock herself in her own room. However, her mother managed to get inside and Carly immediately bit the wound on her mother's arm. Suddenly, Damon had also woken up and tried to help Carly. From fight to fight, Carly's mother was finally locked up in the wardrobe. Not long after that, her mother became silent and did not fought anymore. Carly and Damon also thought that her mother was out of breath and just gave up. But apparently, Carly's mother appeared with a broken coat hanger. The soul of a psychopath that came out of nowhere even appeared because of this phenomenon. Unfortunately, Damon's cheek was pierced by the hanger until it penetrated. Carly and Josh who ran instead met their father who had regained consciousness. They were chased by their parents until they were cornered. Luckily, the doorbell rang at that moment. Carly's mother also just realized that tonight, Carly's grandparents will come to their house. When the father opened the door, his mother sprayed his face with pepper spray. Then Carly's grandfather directly stabbed the father with a knife right then and there. However, Carly's father instead kept chasing Josh. Here, they end up chasing each other. Then the panic Josh got into his father's favorite car and hid in it. Meanwhile, his grandfather kept on targeting his own son. On the other hand, Carly's mother tries to stop her in-laws from killing her husband. Carly was chased by her own mother to the outside of the house. When she wanted to kill her, her grandmother tried to protect her from behind. At that time, Carly's father, who had started the car engine, directly hit his own mother. After that Carly's grandfather was bounced out of the car until he died on the spot. Carly who woke up wanted to be beaten again by her mother. But luckily Damon came and immediately hit Carly's mother with a hoe until she fainted. Then, their parents were tied up by their own children in the basement. They begged to be released but Carly still won't. Because she knows their father and mother don't look like their parents anymore. Suddenly, their parents erupted in rage like truly sadistic people. Carly and Josh could only cry when they saw the behavior of their parents. They regret why they didn't respect their parents at all in the past. The mother said that they loved her two children more than anything in the world. Then, their father said something that sometimes they are thinking about to kill their children. Basically, this film shows how parents are sometimes at their worst, when it comes to taking care of their children. Where every day they have to avoid from anything that is not good for the survival of their own children. The last sentence stated by Carly's father meant that sometimes parents had thoughts like that, even though in reality there was no way they wanted to do it. For the outbreak itself, it is not explained where it came from, but I make an assumption that the phenomenon occurs due to sound waves from the static noise TV broadcast. Okay guys. That's all the recap of this movie. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.